Yo gamers, RPCS3 Android Emulators Alpha Version 6 is finally here. And guess what? L3 and R3 button support is now added. This is going to be a total game changer for some PS3 games. In today's video, I'll show you the complete setup, share the best settings for super smooth performance, and test out some games to see how it runs. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive right in. All right, guys. So this is the official GitHub page of the RPCS 3 Android emulator. As you can see, this is the latest Alpha 5 6 update. So let's quickly set it up. I've already installed it on my phone. So let's get started. Step 1. Open the emulator and allow notification permissions when prompted. Step 2. Next, slide over to the Firmware tab and tap to add the latest PS3 firmware file. Step 3. Once the firmware is installed, you can add games. Just tap the plus icon, select the first option, and choose the .pkg file to add the game. Step 4. After adding the game, you'll need to add the .wrap file. Tap the lock icon and select your wrap file. While the game is loading, let me walk you through the best settings for smooth performance. Go to Settings. Open Advanced Settings. I go to Video Options. Set the resolution according to your device. The lower the resolution, the better the performance. Keep the aspect ratio at 16 to 9. Set shader precision to low for improved speed. Scroll down and enable both right color buffers and right depth buffer. Now scroll down and adjust the resolution scale to around 50% for better stability. If you want to monitor performance, enable the performance overlay. This will show real-time FPS in the top left corner. You'll also find a custom GPU driver option here. If you're using an older Snapdragon device, try using the Turnip driver for better performance. I'm using a Snapdragon 8 Elite right now, but since no dedicated driver is available for it yet, I'll stick with the system driver for now. Now that everything is set up, let's test out some games. First, I tried Sleeping Dogs. I had tested it in the previous update as well, and while the performance feels slightly lower this time, it's still impressive considering it's a PS3 emulator running on Android. Next, I tested Street Fighter X Tekken and the performance was super smooth. No graphical glitches, no lag, and it was running at a steady 30 FPS. All right, guys, sit back and enjoy the gameplay. Let's go. Street 